हेलो फ्रेंड गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज योर होस्ट खान बाबा गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस एंड लॉन्ग लाइफ आई ट्राई टू माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट दिन आर सो प्लीज लाइक एन शेयर माय वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड एंड फैमिली विच विल हेल्प मी फॉर सपोर्टिंग एंड नो लेट स्टार्ट द टूडे इन्फॉर्मेशन एवरी वन एक्साइटेड बिकॉज वीर सींग एग्जैक्टली वट दिस कंट्री इज डूइंग देर डूइंग वट दे सेट देर गोइंग टू डू They're working towards going international. We should all have significant confidence that Iraq is going international. I still have significant concern over Iraq wanting to redenominate LOP their currency. There are numerous educational symposiums teaching the citizens about such an event. This is a very real possibility. The issue I still see is in order to peg to a basket of currencies they would officially have to depeg from the USD while i have yet to see the us relinquish their receivership status over iraq and the fact that the us is desperate to try to keep the usd propped up i am unsure the actual mechanism of how they will be allowed to depeg and then repeg it seems like receivership would need lifted first for that kind of move the iraqi judiciary and the us treasury discuss sanctions on iraqi people and companies the us treasury helps the cbi clean the floor the two parties discussed the legal measures and sanctions issued by the us treasury department ofac regarding iraqi people and companies sadani is not playing games with anybody working hand in hand with the us treasury television now shows rafidane bank doing investigations on smuggling of the dollar there's no end to the amount of corruption your corruption is amplified by iran that's why you have not had the new exchange rate or lower denims but it is really being curtailed controlled pay attention to the leadership in your country removing the corruption rimanovsky regarding the us treasury's visit to iraq enhancing cooperation between the two countries The United States and Iraq share the goal of supporting a sound and strong financial system in Iraq, which will attract investment and ultimately benefit the Iraqi people. She added, "I am pleased with the visit of US Treasury Under Secretary Ryan Nelson to Iraq, stressing that this visit has strengthened this important cooperation. I hear more and more groups are under NDAs. We are hearing of more and more My banking contacts still feel if we have to sign one it will be about the amount we get. We are definitely close. The AFC fund is up 110.4% in Iraq. Huge. Think about that for a minute. What do you get at your savings account? What do you get in your IRAs? What are you getting percentage wise over an annual growth? They have 110.4%. This country is going to explode. Everybody and their brother that's invested in the dinar should be thinking clearly by now as far as I'm concerned. This is fun. How does Iraq have one of the best funds in the world without having reasons behind it? Goodbye and take care.